Hello again, everyone. This is episode 47 of my Let's Play Field of Glory Empires. I am playing Rome. I'm fighting the Antigonids. And as you can see, the Antigonids are beating me currently, but income per turn. And this is how you win, legacy points. The faction that has the most legacy points after 500 turns wins, or if they triple the second place legacy points. So if he had whatever, three times 14,162 is 42,000. 486 if he had if he had 42,486 or well, 487 probably he would beat me that would be a sudden death win but as you can tell he doesn't have anywhere near those points and I'm actually gaining on him per turn at this time I've pretty much I've bottled them up in here I don't know once I take this, I think I'm going to move him down here to help try to take this breadbasket of culture from them. I'm besieging Corinth, which is in Achaia. And... As you can see, money income, I'm still kind of getting reamed on the administrative expenses, and I don't think that'll ever go away, which is unfortunate because it means I can't ever, I'm never going to, you know, eventually it's going to catch up to me. Uh, public works. What's going on over here? I can't build anything there. What do we have? Nobody's building anything. Well, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. These guys are building a military. What is this? Oh, I think that means it's my... It's my capital. Maybe. I don't know. But in this side, all I'm building is a courthouse. And since Tiberius. And that's due to be built in one turn. So let's see what we can build here. Culture 19. Culture bonus 15%. Well, that is definitely something I would want. I uh, don't want that. Tool manufacturer. That's not really blowing my skirt up there, but. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Basilica and Preceptor House. Let's see what we can build in Pattis. Crafter District. Uh, you know, it's almost like it's, you know, what's the point? The more co the more commerce I get, the less I, the, the less money I take in, it seems like. So, what are you going to do? Delicacy shop. I don't want a delicacy shop, and I don't want a gambling house. I'm going to. I'm going to actually shuffle on that. What's his loyalty? Eighty-four. Well, let's get that up a little. Let's take a look at our region's population. Loyalty. Uh, Tyrna, Mesembria, Byzantium. A lot of these we've, they're still kind of under. We've we've just we've just conquered them, and that's why they're like that. But some of these, C 
so let's let's bump you up this one is in unrest for a turn this one has just been pacified or under pacification it's in unrest but we're building a courthouse this one just conquered citizens are pleased well that's nice uh, street parlor let's do that let's do public works uh, and taking and stratus has been pushed back from Jatris by marching enemy army. So they were going to attack Jatris and we, because we moved, I think that's what that means. Uh, battle has been fought here and we won it. So we're moving back to Byzantium. They're still having food issues, but that should possibly go away next term. But then they might be under a five term pacification. Which is not that good, but let's see, Magdonia is it's one turn away, so we can go ahead and start building again here. Amphitheater, yes, those amphitheaters are pretty nice if you can get them fairly quickly, which I'm not saying we can get them fairly quickly, but culture plus six let's go ahead I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave this one striming open because this is 27 turns and I don't want it to take that much longer Campania 27 turns so I'm not going to build anything uh, military academy in Sicilia three more turns that's not too bad what can we build here scriptorium culture definitely We already looked at Legacy per turn, didn't we? Yeah. We're beating them, but just by a little bit. So let's go. Let's see what we can get. See what we can do. For some reason, I keep getting into... I keep getting into fight with fights with these guys. And we destroyed their army. Hello. I want to skip this battle. We won it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Loss of 202 gold. We've got an agent token again. We've increased this to 177 per turn. Uh, I'm not. I got to. I mean, that's the only way that's. Oh, now it's plus 202. 
How does that work? Uh, slaves are revolting against Rome in Oritalia. That was this, and I think we beat them. And we were raided. Oh, we got a zero zero general. Well, it's not. And then we got the agent token. It's not a guarantee you're going to get a two one one two 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 zero two whatever. You know, you're not guaranteed to get a two rating just because you have a lot of structures that are supposed to up the value or up the rating of your generals but on the last turn we did get three generals that had a two rating at least in one spot we got a two one a zero two and a two zero so it is working it's not a hundred percent obviously uh Man, I am doing really well on metal right now. I'm not doing so well on, on money. Let's go ahead and assault here. And then, what do we have here? Uh, let's go ahead and assault. Um, they do have two that are in the green still. Combat power of 37. All of their urban militia are damaged. Gladiator school. Loyalty bonus 16. Decadence 3.3. .3. Yeah, I just don't see myself doing that. That's good. That, I think that's a good structure to get. Arcadia. Uh, Pleasure House. I don't like that decadence. Major Harbor. Wheelmaker. Yeah, let's do another infrastructure thing and another one. And then Aetolia. And that's an army provisioner. Uh, let's see. Money, five, middle, 11. I'm going to take that. Under pacification for f five turns. Uh, food is plus 16, so we're in good shape. We still can't build anything, though. Well, we probably could. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to wait. We're going to need to wait on that. Uh, I'm going to keep him at a plus. I'm going to keep him as the general. Maybe I can. These guys are my enemy. Because they're dependent. Independent. Um. Independents are always an enemy for whatever reason. You know, I'm going to go ahead. I mean, why not? Still got the military academy. What is that? Magdonia. Two turns. I think I, I, think I can go ahead and build something in Strymon. And it's a preceptor house. I love those preceptor houses. They still have a military academy building. It's 18 more turns. Uh, the amphitheater here is 15 more turns. You know, I could see that easily on my 4K TV that I have for a week. 
that kept flickering. When it wasn't flickering, I could see that. But it flickered all the time, so I took it back. Loyalty bonus four. And you know, you can always... Loyalty is something you can't ever get enough of. If I had loyalty of 200 here, where it says 79, final loyalty 79, if I had something, if it was 200 and I had something that came up and said loyalty plus 8, I'd, I'd seriously think about doing it unless there's something really good, something else really good. Because you can never have too much loyalty. You can have too little loyalty. Oh, let's look at legacy per turn. Oh, see, so they've caught back up to us. So 177 to 177. Oh, look at that. The, the independents took this from the Antigonids. So now there's... I mean, I guess I still have to defend against them, but I only have one bottleneck here for the Antigonids. So what I'll do is when, when this is taken... And we are assaulted, yes. When this is taken, I will move this guy here. And he'll be in charge of defending this region or this uh, frontier. And then I'm going to move this this army down here and use it to help take this. Because, honestly, I think I need to have about... To make this, to make this, um, to make them reachable, I think I need about 150 plus 150 in income over them. And that might not be possible because I've been whipping up on Macedonia and they still get 50 income per turn. So, any decisions? that I could take slave markets I still don't have an academy okay so I don't know why oh that's See how their terrain defense is four? That's because they're in a, a fortified city with two walls left, but I still beat them. beat them They really can't do much against me, the Macedonians. Minus... Four sixteen. Administrative burden thirty two hundred. Uh, 
Achaia has been now added to our nation. We took it from the grip of Macedonia. It's a great victory. We gained Selenia from the Antigonids. Their treasury has been plundered, although not everything was there. Was that their capital? 4,919 money gained. That's a lot of money to uh, plunder. We beat the defend uh, the with one o one seventy six money lost, and we received our second agent to token. But look at this, we're at one eighty five now, and they're at one seventy four. What's this one? That's two points. I really want it. Oh, we can create that province. We will create Thracia. We will create Danubia. We, we will create Dacia Inferior. Damn. I've been lax. That's three reach. I mean, three provinces I could, I could create that I haven't been doing. That's going to be two points of... Theater... Cult site. It will help convert my people. 5% conversion rate. Yes. That's what I want to do. What is this? Oh, it's a ceramic works. A fair... That's not anything I really want to do. Large walls, yes. Spinning mill flax. Money 22. Scriptorium, definite take. So, we marched in here and took that. Did we capture them? I don't guess we did. I'm going to move him here. And then I'm going to move him here. And uh, and he's going to leapfrog into here. Or here. Probably here. This one looks like a better... Even though it has less culture, it's got more... It's gaining more culture per turn. So... We'll definitely what's going on here six more turns 17 more turns 14 more turns that's about it for that Let's uh, run one more turn. 
What did I say there? We're 11 ahead of them per turn. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this administrative expenses stays at 416 loss. That's insanity. So we destroyed that army. Sorry, my stomach's still growling. I think that was exactly the same as the last time. We're at 2,000 behind, 2,081 behind them now. So we are definitely catching them. No, oh, yes, okay. I never wanted to be at war with you anyway. Eh. We got 1-1 one, one general... In an O one general, I'm not going there. Not not. Isis. Well, this is this is an Isis is. Uh, this is a an objective, and and this is an objective. Oh, and this one is. We can take that one pretty quickly. Hopefully. Uh, spend money to acquire metal or manpower. I don't have a lot of money. Raise loyalty. Cases and trials. We'll take that. Slave workers. Buy, sell, displace slaves. We will buy some. I mean, we will sell some. I don't want to buy any. And we've got that stoa crash thing going on. Some of our citizens have a taste for exoticism and have purchased rare slaves from the market in Thessalia. I don't know what that means. I know there's a slave, I mean, a black market in Thessalia. But what does it mean to, for them to buy rare and exotic slaves from them? Does it mean anything? Let's come down here and take Macedonia. Or not Macedonia, obviously, but I want to take that as well. We'll take Laconia, and then we'll take Euboea. And then hopefully we will have peace with Macedonia. What is this? A circus. Decadence increase 1.2. I cannot. Loyalty bonus 40. But I can't do that. I, can't, I really can't. That is... Just something I'm not able to do at this point. Five more turns. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. So we're still at 185. They're still at 174. So that's that. I'm breach walls one of one. So I'm just going to keep on going. No, I'm going to go there. Under pacification, plus 18 in food, though, so we're, we're okay there. Let's, uh, let's build a large farm. Anyway, folks, I think that is the end of episode 47. I will see you next time, and thank you very much for watching.